well welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking i hope you've all been living well and living life joyfully because that is the purpose for which god has created us after all it's a beautiful day here and um i'm just so happy to be having something to discuss with you once again so guys today we are going to be talking about difficult colleagues difficult co-workers difficult workmates whatever you choose to call it about these difficult people that you encounter at the workplace i'm sure at one point or another everybody has encountered a difficult uh, co-worker or workmate if you haven't yet encountered then chances are that you're most likely to encounter them at one point in your life because these people exist they come in all sizes and shapes and all colors and I mean, somehow every workplace that you go to, there will at least be that one person who is impossible or is giving everyone else a difficult time or has a very bad attitude or, you know, there's just that one person. You get what I'm talking about. So let's get right into it. So guys, um, I bring this discussion from a point of experience. Um, at one of the jobs that I have um been to or that I've worked, I sadly encountered a difficult colleague. My life was so difficult because, you know, when I, I got this job, I was super excited. I was extremely excited. Oh, yes, I'm going to be working at this place. And yes, I joined day one. It was very evident. Like, this person just showed me the, the worst side of, of her. And I, at first I was like, wow, wow, just wow. I was completely puzzled. I was disturbed. I'm like, oh, Christ. So I remember doing, I took off my lunch break and um, I just got out of the office and went um, somewhere around. And guys, I just, I cried out. I cried. I'm not even kidding. It sounds ridiculous, but it is real. I cried because I could not imagine that there are people who are this difficult. Not that I had not found difficult people at the previous workplace. They exist everywhere, really. But I had not found one that is that uh, difficult. So, yes, fast forward. I mean, I'm already at this workplace and I was uh, just... Uh, puzzled, I was asking myself, should I quit this job? Do I have to leave? Should I stay? Am I going to continue um, staying with such a person with an, all this negative attitude? So it was a difficult decision, you know. Actually, I remember talking to my husband and I told him, you know, there's this person who is giving me such a hard time. I do not know what to do. I just want to quit my job. And he asked me, my darling, why did you go there? Why did you go to the workplace? You went to work. And why did this person uh, join the workplace as well? You have all gone to this workplace to work. So do not mind uh, such a person because everywhere you go, you're definitely going to find that one person who is going to give you a hard time. And most likely is not only giving you a hard time, but he's giving other colleagues a hard time as well. So he told me you need to grow a tough skin. You need to get stronger. If you haven't yet encountered that, then that should be the beginning. So I, I thought about it and I actually realized this is not the person who brought me to this workplace and I'm here for a reason, I'm here for a purpose, I'm here to work, I'm here to learn, I'm here to grow and this person should not come in the way of all the reasons why I'm at this workplace. I'm going to stop growing because this person is giving me an attitude. I need to rise above all that and actually enjoy this job. So at one point or another, somebody has encountered a difficult colleague, but I'm here to tell you that, you know what? You don't have to run away from the workplace. If it gets to the point where it is impossible, some people feel they cannot uh, contain certain stresses in life, but um, you know, that is part of adulthood. And you know, being an adult has never been easy. You know, you're going to encounter more difficult situations, tough situations. But is running away the solution? I do not think so. Just going to share with you a few tips on how I believe you can uh, deal with difficult co-workers. Number one, you have to identify who the problem is, who or what the problem is. Ask yourself, so who is this person? Who is the problem? 
at the workplace most likely you have already identified this person then after you have identified who the problem is um ask yourself why is that so why is this person showing such an attitude to me and you know it is very important for you to separate um, the person from the problem those are two different things because here you are at a workplace and it is the best time to showcase your communication skills your leadership skills they come in handy at such a point you know so separate the person from the problem when you're dealing with a person be gentle to them you have to stay very very strong you know because here you are at a workplace and work has to go on work has to continue work is not going to stop because this person is giving you an attitude work is not going to uh, stop because they're being negative no work has to go on so deal with their personality or the person differently and deal with the issue differently when you're dealing with the person just kill them with your kindness kill them with kindness Kill them with kindness, even when they are so mean to you, even when they are so rude to you. Just be kind to them. It does not cost you anything. Kindness costs you nothing, and it has never cost anybody anything. So remain kind to them, but when it comes to issues of work, remain focused and strong on the issue, you know? For instance, if um, a point comes when uh, you have to work together, and let's say you are in a meeting and they're yelling at you, tell them, I appreciate that we have to work together. There's a reason why we are all here, but I'm not going to get anywhere if you are yelling at me. You see, you have remained strong on the issue, but you have been gentle to them. So do not be rude to them. It does not cost you anything. Then it is also very important to know when to act. You know, when you somebody giving you bad vibes and you know, all these negative energies, do not rush, you know, straight away to, um, to report let's say to the ceo just remain calm analyze the situation keep observing just keep observing like i said know the problem that is the person why are they treating you this way there are common reasons why a certain people may uh, be negative or have bad attitude towards co-workers. Maybe they, they, they feel intimidated by you. Maybe it's just their character. They're just mean people. They're just rude people. Other people usually feel um, like you've come to take their jobs, you know, and sometimes you could actually be a problem. Maybe they're acting that way to you because you're also portraying a certain negative attitude. So it's important to ask yourself all these critical questions. What is the problem? Who is the problem? Why are they um, treating you so? How can you go about it? So the how is how do you act? Know when to act. If, if you have the courage, you can as well approach them and talk to them and say, you know, I feel you're giving me these uh, bad vibes and negative attitude. Is it possible for me to understand why you are doing so? So just, just talk to them. That is if they are approachable. And if it's not, then you see better ways of, uh, of communicating with them. But as a matter of fact, you're going to meet such people in every workplace. If you feel like you um, can't deal with them anymore, um, just observe the trends. When are you most likely to interact with them? Is it during meetings? Is it, is it in the corridors? Is it during the, the lunch break? When are you most likely to interact with them? If you feel like it's, uh, interacting with them is going to make you uncomfortable, then try to avoid uh, spaces where you have to interact with them much. Because if uh, interacting with them is going to give you stress at the workplace, then what is the essence of uh, being around them at the end of the day? And, you know, as a Christian, I say pray for them. There is nothing that is impossible with prayer. <laughs> there is really nothing that is impossible with prayer. So continue to pray for them. Talk to God and tell him, you know, I'm encountering this challenge at the workplace. Please help me. I need favor. I need divine favor to help me through. So those are some of the tips that I thought I should share. And I hope that they are helpful in one way or another. So identify the problem. Separate the problem from the person tackle the problem, be gentle to the person, identify why the problem is um, happening, 
why is this person treating you the way they are treating you try to sit down and ask why um, and I'd ask yourself possible reasons why they are treating you that way and if you identify that reason then see how you can go about it and then know when to act do not rush to uh, report this person to the CEO because you could cost somebody their job you see which is not a good thing so try and see and uh, exhaust all possible alternatives to tackle the problem before you rush to the ultimate and kill them with kindness i stress kill them with kindness and above everything please pray for them pray for them that god helps them that god changes their attitude that god changes their hearts and that they see you in a different way for who you actually are and not who they think that you are so those are a few tips that i thought i should share today and i hope you're going to enjoy life at the workplace but even when you encounter this it go low you go high so when they're treating you bad you don't have to treat them bad because two wrongs don't make a right right thank you so much for watching and stay blessed if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe for more videos such as this